tad different. I wanted to do a tutorial video on how to play Black Desert Online on your phone, laptop, or anything that can run Steam Link. It is a five step process and only one is a little difficult, but I'll be able to show you how it's done through this tutorial with few issues. Keep in mind, this is only going to work if you have a computer that is capable of running BDO and an internet connection that can provide a good enough upload speed to connect through Steam Link. Step 1 will enable us to access Black Desert through Steam. This step is important because any game that you add to Steam can be used with Steam Link whether it was bought on Steam or not. This includes games like Black Desert. Unfortunately though, this does not streamline the login process, but we'll get to that later. <coughs> what we need to do now is add Black Desert to our Steam library as a non-Steam game. We'll want the launcher and the current launcher at that. <coughs> In order to do this, you go to the bottom right of your library add game, add a non-Steam game, and then you're going to look for Black Desert. <coughs> I'm gonna let the list load because I have two as the game was just transferred. So this is the original, right? We do not want this one. What we're gonna want is the Black Desert right there. So then we just hit add selected programs and it pops up in our list. Step two will enable us to use control inputs from our device using Steam Link. In order to do this, we need to enable Steam Overlay for our non-Steam game, Black Desert Online. I highly recommend getting a controller for playing BDO on the phone. I use the Razer Kishi, but your Bluetooth, Xbox, PS, Steam, or off-brand controllers will work as long as you can connect them to your phone. This step is going to be a little bit more complicated than the rest. And first, we'll need to make sure Steam is in administrative mode. Right-click on the BDO launcher we added as a non-Steam game, and then create a desktop as so or as such, excuse me. So then right click, manage, add desktop shortcut, and you can see it's been created right here. From here, we need to open Notepad. And then in the description below, I have copied what I'm about to paste in here. Mine's spaced out, yours will not be. This is just because of how I take my notes. All right, so this is how it's gonna look when you've copied it correctly. So now that we have that, you're just gonna leave it off to the side and then right click your desktop shortcut and then go to properties. Once you're in properties, you'll notice this URL line. This one's important. You're gonna to go to the end and select from where the numbers stop till they end. So right after run game ID slash copy all of it and then paste it here inside the quotations. Do not delete the quotations. Now, once that's done, you can go ahead and close this. We're done with that. You can go to File, Save As, and this is important. See how it says .txt? We're gonna change that. We're gonna name this file steamlauncher.any, and then in my case, uh, my game file. So we're gonna save it in our game file, and mine is saved under my S drive in games, Black Desert. So that's where you're gonna drop it inside the, the first folder for Black Desert. Just hit Save. I already have one in there, I'm replacing it, no biggie. So now that that's done, we can move on to the next step. Step three is simple. All we need to do is launch the game through Steam or that shortcut if you haven't deleted it yet and log in. And speaking of that shortcut, the reason we created it was to get access to the Steam app ID. But now that we have it, we can go ahead and delete it. But if you wanna keep it, there is no issue from launching it from there. All right, for step four, once you've logged in and selected the character, we need to enable controller support. To do this, we need to go to settings, settings again, interface settings, and then gamepad interface. There are two options that we need to focus on, use gamepad and use gamepad UI. Additionally, in this menu, we can adjust sensitivity of the joysticks if you use a controller. This also applies for the virtual sticks as well, but moving on. Activating used gamepad is essential as it states it will allow us to use the gamepad. Used gamepad UI will not enable automatically, but will disable after it no longer detects the controller. I find that I will have to enable this every time. Now the thing is you don't require this to play with your phone, but it truly streamlines, steam, streamlines excuse me, the gameplay and I would highly suggest it. And I'm going to enable it so you can see what it does. So as you can see, all my controls are completely different down here. When I enable my mouse, you can't even see them. This all allows you to play with controller. If you go up to NPCs, you have to hit a certain hot key or controller key to talk to them and stuff like that. So I find that this really makes a huge difference when playing on Steam Link. 
All right, moving on. All right, and the final step is to get started playing. So I'm going to try and record on my phone and the game at the same time. Hopefully this works out well. And in order to prevent any issues, you're gonna wanna select Steam uh, on your computer. So just Alt-Tab back into Steam. So from there, we're gonna go ahead and click the Start Playing button to connect, and it should jump Black Desert in front on your PC. And you notice I am now in control. Uh, I am not using a mouse and keyboard. I am actually using the Kishi on my phone to play the game. And I'm not looking at the screen. Uh, I am actually looking at the phone while I play. And my class, I'm not very uh, gear, gear heavy right now, but you can see I can do combat pretty well. I'm not going to review the control scheme or much, but you can see I just need to hold Y to loot or stuff like that, get my pets. The same thing for quests. When you talk to quest managers, you get the idea. Here's the proof of concept. It's in play. I've played it at work. Oh, excuse me. You didn't hear that. I never play at work. I play it on the go, sometimes in the car. Usually if you've got a good enough 4G signal, it works, but there is a lot of lag. But if you're staying stationary, this actually works and it's pretty good for doing quests. I have not tried PVP. I am not much of a PVPer, but if you do, please drop down below and let us know in the comments how this works out for you.